Hello everybody and welcome to Coffer That. I am your host Mark Dutton and we are here live at the Red Bull Arena for the Red Bulls versus the San Andreas Air Points. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's not, who was it? Who was it? Jose. San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> keep rolling. Keep rolling. Hello everybody and welcome to Cop and I am your host Mark Dutton and we are here for the Red Bulls versus the San... <laughs> the who? San Jose. San Jose? Oh. Earthquakes. <laughs> he hasn't been drinking. <laughs> Welcome to Coffer That. I am your host Mark Dutton and we are here for the Red Bulls. The Red Bulls are opening game today and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give you a little taste of Major League Soccer as Liverpool are going to play Fulham tomorrow and it's going to be an awesome game. We need to win this and if Liverpool win this game we go back to the top of the Premier League. So we'll see more from inside the Red Bulls arena as the game takes place. We're looking forward to it. Again this is Dutch from Coffer That. Take it easy. Hello everybody and welcome to Cop For That. I am your host Mark Dutton and yes, we've took a little look at what it's like to go actually to a Red Bulls game in New Jersey and you know, sample the atmosphere and how does it compare to going to a Liverpool match per se. So this is our review of the Liverpool game versus Fulham in a huge game purely because we can go top of the league again and that's where we want to be. It's a phenomenal time to be a Red. It's a phenomenal time to support the mighty, mighty army of Liverpool. So, if you like the video, put a like on the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That way you never miss a video. I am in beautiful Franklin. I just got finished with a coaching practice. I've been here all night. Um, and let's talk about the Reds. So, Liverpool started the game, I don't know, a little cagey. We, we probably could have done better in the final third of the field. We played our usual side. Um, not, not, too many, not too many surprises. Lallana was back in midfield and again had a fantastic game. You know, the Lallana Cruyff turn is legendary and he really can change direction quickly and release diagonal balls to Salah and Mane. And I like the combination play between Lallana and Bobby Firmino. Wijnaldum, uh, I don't know. I think he, I think he's been overplayed at the moment um, in midfield. He looks like he's struggling. And Fabinho was back in as the defensive centre mid. Obviously, Jordan Henderson was out hurt. And in a must-win game, you would say, you know, we've got former teammates coming back and hopefully not to haunt us in relation to Ryan Babel. When you think Ryan Babel's been playing forever and ever and ever, and he seems like it was, it's been the longest time since he actually did play for Liverpool. But um, he's very mistakeable with his red hair. And he gave Trent Alexander-Arnold a lot of problems down the left side of the field. All right, he was confident, he was direct. 
he got into some good situations um, and Strength had to be really on his game today. Biggest thing for me, Robinson gets the ball on the left and he drives into the 18. Now, he should score this. I mean, every day of the week, he should drive right to goal and slot it. Um, and he chooses to pass the ball and it's intercepted by their goalkeeper. For me, it's a goal and it would have given Liverpool an early 1-0 lead. We grind the goal out on the same side of the field. And it's actually a fantastic bit of play. Bobby Firmino gets the ball, plays a beautiful ball into Mane, and then he makes a fantastic fantastic run into the box receives the ball back and then Mane makes an even better overlap and run into the box and Bobby slides the ball straight into Mane and Mane slots it in the goal the guy's on fire right now and it was a fantastic goal and we're 1-0 up but then the half kind of petered out there wasn't really too much going on Fulham offered really not much in attack unless it was Ryan Babel um, and Liverpool really didn't do too much Salah was constantly a threat but never really got into the game um, Bobby other than the bit of magic at the start and same with Mane we just struggled to connect passes in the final third of the field and, and it was a worry going into half time that we'd only scored the one goal now obviously as the second half goes on same situation the same players are on the pitch we don't really make any changes and 70 plus minutes wouldn't you know it James Milner comes on as a sub our first substitution and he comes on with Unrigi and the ball's played on the edge of the 18, and Milner, uncharacteristic James Milner, hits the ball up in the air. And to be fair, between Allison and Virgil van Dijk, it's pretty easy to be dealt with. Van Dijk gets up, and I don't know if it was a, a weather situation, because let's be honest, there's been a lot of weather going on. But he gets up, heads the ball tamely, and again, Allison still should claim this ball. He doesn't. It falls to Ryan Babel. And Ryan Babel, fair play, he kind of he kind of has his arms up before he scores. He looks like he doesn't want to score. He obviously knows the heartbreak Liverpool have had over the last 29 years. And he slots the ball in the in the goal. But then fair play, he turns around and he's just like, I'm not celebrating that, boys, I'm not. Fair play to Ryan Babel. Absolutely fantastic moments. Um, but then you, you're really in crisis as a fan. It's, it's one of the few times that I have actually turned around and thought, I'm gonna cry. I physically felt like I was gonna cry. I was actually out with my father-in-law, my wife and my kids, um, and the, the game was on in the diner, and we were having breakfast, and as the ball went in, I just physically wanted to cry. I think all the emotions of seasons past, the heartbreak that we felt, the disappointment, it all kind of hit me in that one moment, and I was just like, I can't believe this. But then wouldn't you know it, Sadie Mane, yet again, steps up, last couple of minutes of the second half and we get a penalty where the ball comes into the box the goalkeeper flaps at a shot that comes in uh, Mane's onto it he kind of pulls Mane down falls to the ground lo and behold we have a fantastic chance James Milner steps up Capitano chance of redemption and he coolly slots the, court, the ball right down the centre inside of his foot right down the middle to make it Liverpool 2 Fulham 1 cop for that Fulham and the last 10 minutes to be fair we play really really well we, we passed the ball well Daniel Sturridge comes on right at the end of the match I mean the weather was pissing down it was horrible it was nasty but he comes on right at the end of the game I believe in this Liverpool team I believe we can win this league I, I think we can go the rest of the season we can beat the likes of Chelsea we can beat the likes of horrible dirty dirty spares and we can go on and we can lift this. We've got a nice two-week break. Hopefully, we can recharge our batteries. We can get the likes of Oxley chamberlain back. We can get the likes of Joe Gomez, the forgotten man. We can get him back, even though Matip, I think, is playing fantastic. It would be great to have that cover there. Let's be honest, not many of us like the greatest centre-half in the world, do we, in Lovren? We really don't. Um, so let's, let's see how it goes. But yeah, international break, two weeks. I hope you liked the videos in relation to the Red Bulls. We had a fantastic... Fantastic experience at the Red Bulls on Saturday. Uh, they went 1-0 down and they came back. But it's just the fact that the hospitality is amazing. I mean, the food, the Americans do that the best. The food at the game is just awesome. You can basically sit, eat as much as you want. It's phenomenal quality food. And just enjoy it. Sitting the best seats in the house on the halfway line. Sitting behind the dugouts. I mean, it's an experience that you wouldn't really get back home at Anfield unless you were extremely lucky. Or know the right people, if you know what I'm saying. So the fact that we're able to do that over here, it's just a little taste. I mean, the stadiums aren't full. The atmosphere isn't great, 
but it's it's as good as we're gonna get. It's not Liverpool at the end of the day, but what is? All right, this has been Dutz. This has been Kofferda. On a day when Liverpool rock up to Fulham, we come away with all three points. We go back to the top of the English Premier League. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, smash a like on it if you think Liverpool are going to win the league. I, I believe we're going to win the league. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and like us on Facebook. Cop for that. Cop for that, Fulham. Cop for that, Ryan Babel. Fair play to you, sir. Awesome, awesome sign of respect. Not celebrating the goal. Again, this has been Dutch. Liverpool, top of the league. Liverpool, Liverpool, top of the league. Liverpool. And by the way, Virgil, we still love you. He's a centre off. He's a number four. Watch him defend. I watch him score. Uh, we don't want to see you doing dodgy back passes. You're Virgil van Dijk. You're Virgil van Dijk. Ta da for now. Ta da. And you'll never walk alone.